Do you know you can't break an egg by Well, that's a f lie. <laughs> Who told you that? I swear I saw something that said. I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pick up everything on my plate. Sometimes I didn't make it. tell if I'm really dark right now. Good morning. Happy Monday. I just finished up at the gym. A good session actually. It's the first Monday of January today. I have a new camera because my other one broke but I'm probably gonna try and get that one sent away, fix it. Oh my god my hair I can't wait. and then sell it but I just don't have time to wait in between sending a camera away because obviously I need a camera to do my job. I want this vlog to be very getting organized and just setting yourself up for a good month, a good year. I was feeling a little bit like nervous yesterday because I was just feeling not how I thought I would be feeling at the beginning of the year. You know, you want to feel really excited and motivated to do all the things you want to do. And I was just kind of feeling like, oh, I don't feel any different. I don't feel, you know, excited for the year. But all you can do is take one day at a time. So that's what we're gonna do. Today on the agenda, I need to make the weekly vlog thumbnail for last week. I'm going on a coffee date with my friend Elise in the morning because it sounds cheesy. Elise and I have been friends since primary school. We kind of lost touch in high school. Like we kind of just went different directions. And then we reconnected. I think the actual date was the 4th of January last year. Cause I randomly just sent her a message on Instagram. And I was like, hey, like I know we haven't talked in like seven years or something like crazy like that. Basically, Basically, this is super random but would you want to just catch up and get coffee so we did and now she's living with me and we've been really close ever since so if you've ever wanted to reconnect with a friend do it trust me it's not too late that was honestly one of the best things that I did last year because I've got a really great friend back in my life so yeah we're gonna go to the same place that we had coffee today because we can't do tomorrow because we're both busy so we're gonna do today and then I think I'm seeing Freya this afternoon I think I want to do a bit of cleaning decluttering getting set up planning some videos so I have a game plan I haven't been planning anything in my life lately like I haven't been doing my to-do lists so I just want to get back in the groove do I even have my phone oh I do <laughs> happy Monday happy first vlog no well see there's a vlog going up today but in my mind this is the first vlog of 2022 because it's the one I'm filming yeah hopefully the clip is okay
is Tuesday afternoon. I haven't really vlogged today. Don't mind the gloves. What have I done today? I went to the shops today with my mum. I was feeling very tired and unmotivated this morning. I don't know, I might do it in like a weekly vlog, but last year I did a reacting to my 2020 goals and then setting my new resolutions for the year. I might do that in a weekly vlog. I don't think it needs a dedicated video. Also, I really love this new camera. I feel like the quality is really, really good. But um, I went to the shops with my mum. I ended up buying, I'll go get it, hang on. So Dior Sauvage is my favorite scent ever i it's a men's perfume i think i was watching sofa dopa's vlog and she was saying how she like wears men's cologne and this is like her favorite and i thought why don't i just buy it for myself and wear it myself because i feel like nowadays men's things women's things don't really matter like you can wear what you want so i thought let's just buy this for myself so now i have that and I love it, I'm obsessed. Got back from the gym, really good session. I wanna make it a point of trying to work out five days a week. I know that may seem excessive to some people, but for the fitness level that I'm at, that's very manageable, that's very within my ability. I was slacking off a little bit, not necessarily slacking off, but you just, it was very, very busy. I was definitely doing more three days, four days, it varied a lot. So I really wanna make it a point of going Monday to Friday because it's so good for my mental health and I, and, I, and I feel like I've just been making a lot of excuses lately. So I wanna be better at that. Did I just take my pants off? Yes, I did. So I'm gonna take my tan off tonight. I usually tan midweek. It's the Bondi Sands Self Tan Gel Eraser. I've got gloves on just because I think I've got a cut on my finger. I don't want that to soak, into, uh, soak in and hurt me. I like this way better than the foam. I find it doesn't burn as much. If you know, you know. It's not a miracle worker, but it definitely helps. So I'm just gonna pop that on and then leave it on for probably like 20 minutes. All right, I need to take my sports bra off now, so VRB. I belong, I belong to you. gym i feel like anyone else in like brisbane can relate what is happening it is like we get all four seasons in one day not necessarily winter but it'll rain storm be extremely hot then sometimes kind of chilly how long have i lived in queensland most of my life and yet i'm still baffled by the weather but i'm gonna make some breakfast now i found these rolls i'm gonna make like a breakfast uh like bacon and egg roll. But I found these 50% lower carb rolls from Coles and they have really good macros if you're interested. chili sauce this is from my protein i used to work at a cafe and we used to make these all the time burger breakfast rolls brekkie roll whatever you want to call them oh you're kidding look at that is that not sexy <laughs> yum take me to your heart i belong i belong to you Okay, it's now 
2 p.m. I think. I've just been doing some editing, got myself a little bit ready. I think my skin is breaking out from wearing masks maybe. I've got a couple like around here. This is the fit. Um, I love this shirt. I wore it in my last vlog and I got a lot of questions asking where it was from. Um, it's from White Fox and then these shorts are Princess Polly. These are Princess Polly as well. And then these big hoops I'm obsessed with are Jazz Handmade. But Elise and I are going to pop out to the shops just to get a few things. I kind of want to get some jars to put my protein powders in because I feel like that'll look a lot nicer. I kind of want to declutter the pantry. I keep saying these things and I never get to it because I do editing or I do other things. I also did a huge load of washing that I can't really hang out to dry because it keeps raining every half an hour and I don't own a dryer which is weird to a lot of people but gonna head out to shops probably go to like Kmart, Pet Barn. <laughs> Wouldn't mind going to Flannery so I can pick up some bone broth. That's the plan. jars they're not the best quality but they've got a little rubber seal thingy so hopefully they will keep the like whatever i put in them staying fresh i'm not gonna be able to fit all my proteins in here but i think i'll put the main ones in i'll wash them first and then i'm gonna put the proteins in them and i think it actually will make my life a lot easier instead of having it sounds dramatic but opening the bags and like searching for the spoon it's just a little bit easier to get to and it'll look much nicer. From Flannery's, I also got some bone broth. This is the chicken Nutri Organics because I think Soph had this brand of bone broth when we went to Riley's birthday. Um, so I got the chicken miso ramen flavor. I love bone broth, it's so good for your gut. Um, and I think that's everything I got. Yeah, so I'm gonna wash these jars and then it's like three o'clock, I think. Part of me wants to get GYG for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's either that or good soup. result i kind of like i definitely need more um i just have a lot of protein but this is the greens powder that's the naked harvest caramel filled donut because i use that all the time clearly that's chocolate peanut butter <laughs> that is salted caramel and that's cookies and cream i like how it turned out hey charles no your daddy issues well no i don't even miss you anymore oh why do i feel like it's so close Anyway, I'm still trying to bear with me with the settings on this camera because I'm not exactly sure if I've got them on the best ones. You know? Wait, let me just move you. Oh, that's better. I'm getting GYG for dinner. Um, and then I think I might pop over to my parents' house. I just texted my mum and said, are you home? Ooh. It's a bit aggressive, isn't it? Lauren Spencer-Smith just came out with her song, Fingers Crossed. Instead of watching an ad about the refreshingly delicious- it's, I don't think it's on Spotify yet, but it's on YouTube. That's not the song. It's so good. Lately breakfast in the morning Night in the night All you did was prove me wrong When you said you loved me Well, you must have had your fingers crossed
good morning guys it's ooh, it's 5.55 which is my life path number my face always looks so puffy in the mornings i don't know if you can hear that but that is the rain the weather for the past like week has been very strange in brisbane or like queensland it keeps raining and then being sunny, raining, being sunny, so you can't do anything. Like, you can't really go for a walk. Well, you can go for a walk, but you gotta take an umbrella. It's just very weird. So, I think it's gonna be the same like that today. So. I feel like this looks super zoomed in, but I don't know why. That's my sock. Good morning, Charlie. Say hello. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pick out my outfit. I never do this the night before, but I should. Oh my god, blue skies! Oh, this pimple on my lip is so sore. Look how tall she is now. You're so tall. That's my sock. I can't wait to get my hair done. I don't think it looks bad, but I just want it to be a lot less warm. I did hurt my back a few, maybe like over a month ago now. I was doing a it was when I did, it was when I did a PB for my deadlift. I think I've hurt my back, so I just don't know. Maybe you guys can help me. I don't know whether to see. Let me keep an eye on the time because watch me just talk for ages. I've hurt like my lower back. It I can't tell whether it feels muscular or like the joint. It always hurts the most when I wake up in the morning and then it kind of subsides throughout the day, but it's kind of always there. So I don't know whether to go to a physio or a chiropractor. Probably should just go to my doctor. That would be the first thing. It's annoying because I don't really want to do like deadlifts or anything like that because it hurts a little bit too much. RDLs aren't too bad. Like I don't really feel it, but deadlifts, I don't know. That's always the kicker, isn't it? So yeah, that's kind of annoying, but let me go. It's my skin. gym fit stacks of course my code is always active it's connor 10 kind of want to pop on a hat today so long most of them that i tried don't taste very nice this one from my protein is so good it's in the blue raspberry flavor this is the gym fit i wear an extra small in their seamless collection these hats i I think they still sell them. And then we've got platform converse. And I might grab a t-shirt because I think I'm gonna go into the supermarket afterwards. And I feel like whenever you go into the supermarket in active wear, people look at you funny, even though.
only bad thing about this camera is it doesn't have the same battery as my other Sony, so I can't use all my spare batteries with this one. So I just need to buy more. Okay, just got back from the supermarket. I popped all my groceries away, but I'm gonna make some breakfast. I don't know whether I want a smoothie or my egg wrap because I had that the other day and it was very good. Could do both. I think we'll do both. a.m. Once again, very gloomy day today and it's just like, it's been one of those weeks. I've been very tired this week for some reason. I think I'm just, I was on my period so that could be why. I think I get very period, I get very tired around and on my period. But just popped out and got some kombucha. Hopefully I can go for a walk at some point but it keeps, like I said, raining on and off. But Elise and I also got these like, what are they? Like, gut shots. Gut shots. Don't know if they're gonna be any good or like have, like when you read the ingredients, it says organic kombucha, water, sugar tea, ginger juice, 14%. So I thought these would be fun. I've, I've never really done one before. Yeah. Mine is ginger spice gut shot and yours is? I don't know, greens. Greens, ooh, ooh, I yours is gonna be here. Don't fit. <laughs> I'll come down. Can you smell it? Oh, it's gingery. Can you smell it? Mine it's smells very like kombucha. Classic, oh, like, it smells like nothing. It's not that. I don't know how. Wait, okay, is that a shot? That's, That's a huge. lot. It's um 55 mils, which is more than a shot. Who do you just smell it? It's not the vibe. <laughs> it's not the vibe. Stop. Right. Okay, three. <laughs> I don't know. I'm scared. I know. Okay, Wait, I'm gonna take a little sip. Oh, that was quick. Oh, that's fine. I feel like that's not proper, like... No. That was like just a... It's a kombucha. Kombucha. <laughs> oh, the sun's coming out a little bit. Oh, that's good. I gotta go to work. This is the best brand of kombucha. Just a little PSA. It is so good. The night is warm and sweet. We're soaking from the heat. Let's go, just you and me. We can set us free. Won't you come closer, baby? Stay with me tonight. Oh, I am exhausted. I disturbed someone. Oh, I got a friend. How are you helping me feel? Are you helping me feel? I'm actually filming this on Monday, so it's kind of like inserted in the vlog, but this is the day that I got the package, like in the chronological order of the vlog, if that makes any sense, so. But I wanted to show you the new stacks drop because it drops on Friday, this Friday at 9 a.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time, which is, what's the, the, today's the 10th, I think? 
It'll be on the screen. My discount code is Connor10. It gets you 10% off as always. Don't mind my hair. Um, I'm getting it done this week, so I haven't washed it. I feel like this angle is probably terrible. Let me like... As you can see, this collection is super bright. Very fun. It's in their best black fabric, which I get questions all the time asking what I prefer, best black or seamless. I'm definitely a seamless girl. My go-tos are always seamless, particularly for the leggings. But a lot of the time I will mix like best black crops with the seamless leggings. So these are the little zip up cropped they've come out with. They have a sports bra built in so it's pretty darn supportive and it obviously zips up like that. It's not my favourite look on me and I feel like it squishes my boobs down just a little bit too much. So I feel like it's quite cute to wear it like that and you could obviously wear this not necessarily to work out. I really need to buy some new um, seamless g-strings because mine have been washed so many times that they're kind of getting like stretched out so they're not fitting me as well and I feel like you can see them. These are the midi bike shorts I think or mini bike shorts I don't know but they're in a super bright orange color I love how the logo is in green so this is like one of the matching tanks they've definitely improved the best black fabric for sure so it's just like super bright super fun if you like bright colors this collection is definitely for you oh also they are squat proof I've never had anything from stacks that's been not squat proof Excuse me. <laughs> this is the exact same color as a highlighter. Bit bright for me. Don't know if I would wear this, but I just think that is super fun as well. And I'm definitely wearing shorts at the moment because it's just... It's just a little bit too hot for leggings. I love this green. This is very much like a bright neon green. Stax does greens really, really well. Again, I'm obsessed with the blue. I'm not gonna try on everything. I'm gonna try on these pink shorts though, because I am very obsessed. These are the sports bras, which are actually very, very supportive. They have a really thick band and they're probably the most supportive sports bras that I've tried from Stax. The jazz hand ones are also very supportive. I hope they come out with more styles of sports bras. Okay, so this is the sports bra. Definitely prefer these over the zip-ups. Excuse me. I'm trying to show everyone. And then that is what the back looks like. I love the pink shorts. How cute. It's so like Barbie vibes. They're not too fitted either. Like I feel like they're super comfy without being restricting or like too loose either. I'll just pop on like the tank to show you. So these are the tanks. I used to wear their tanks all the time when I first started wearing stacks and I do love them. Extra small again. Even though they are super bright, the colors just go really well together. Anyway, I'm not gonna do the whole collection because I feel like this vlog will be way too long. Okay, back to past me. <laughs> Okay, this is the current state of my beauty room. It is very messy. It needs to be decluttered. I used to have so much makeup. Like back when my channel was predominantly makeup based and more of like fashion and just I did lots of makeup tutorials, which feels like 25 years ago. I used to have so so much makeup but I've got a lot less now I still have a lot like for the average person I probably have a lot more so I probably honestly should go through and cull a lot of it today like be a little bit more cutthroat and just get rid of stuff anything I don't want or like anything that's new I usually gift to friends and then a lot of things I just throw away because they're probably expired I'm so close I haven't figured out hang on I'm so <laughs> okay I think think that's better it could be the exactly the same i'm definitely like not in the mood to do this but i think once i get started i will find something in me i've also got these like alex drawers there i've got one in my office as well which has a bunch of random stuff in it and i feel like i could honestly get rid of those drawers or i was gonna say sell them definitely can't sell them there filthy i've had them for years at this point maybe even like 10 10 no very very long time but they're very dirty like this gives me anxiety <laughs> So we're going to clear this out. I also have a bunch of like my jumpers in that wardrobe because I feel like it makes more sense to put all my coats and jumpers because I'm obviously not wearing them at the moment because it's summer. I just don't know what to tackle first. I think I might go through and cull things that I don't want or want to get rid of. I still feel close. I need to get one of those wide lenses that Soph and Georgia have because I feel like that'd be a good investment. So let's get started. I also need to wash my makeup brushes. That could be another task for today because it's so sad outside. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but like that is the sky. Just very, very gloomy. When you said you love me, well, you must have had your fingers crossed. This setting and mirror is from Etoile Collective. It is so good. I just need, 
I just haven't kept it clean. It's very messy. I need to like clean the glass and everything. But this is my foundation drawer. I'm not gonna like go through this individually because we would be here for about four hours. I'm gonna try and be as brutal as I can just because with makeup and stuff, it just sits there and I won't use it because I'm so in the routine of just doing the same thing. There's no real point to have lots of products and I don't really do crazy makeup looks anyway. So I'm gonna pop on some music or a YouTube video because I will be very Like my baby mama know how to take care of me Give my baby problems, you gon' regret everything So I let her know, gotta let her know Came through the front door, I'll be ready for her. And if it's what you want, I'ma give it to you Yeah, promise, I'ma give it to you Miss that smile, Lord knows I ain't seen that in a while But it's your style, so something must be up keeping you down It's really cute. Although I don't love the neckline. It's a bit high. Restricting. Yeah, these. Like, why is it so? Yeah, it needs to almost come like yeah. further down. It's cute though. Yeah. Woohoo! It's very like flattering on your ass. She's like trying to eat the sequins. Yeah, no, I love that. I'll have to bring my. Actually, I don't even know if Mum still has mine. Because I wasn't like that attached to it. Be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely. We could be gazing at the stars. Oh, yeah. People love you. People love you so much. It has been a very slow week this week, as you've probably seen from this video. It is beautiful weather today, except it is about 30 plus degrees, so it's very, very hot. So, probably just gonna like spend the day inside. I think Elise and I are gonna make some banana bread, have a wholesome Sunday. Oh, let me like talk you through the results for my beauty room. It feels so much better. I think because like this over here is way less cluttered. And I really like how I've put my makeup brushes like this. It allows me to see everything more. And I wasn't really using this container anyway because, so I thought I may as well use it for that. We've got some very ripe bananas here. So we're gonna make healthy banana bread. Um, but we need to go get a couple ingredients from the supermarket, so I think we'll do that. And then tomorrow, I kind of officially go back to work, so everything will be more structured, and I won't be kind of just, like, flowing through my days, just kind of resting and then being bored, but then, yeah, so. This is delicious. Yeah, it's delicious. Stormy, you look like a mommy, baby. I saw someone was like, road works ahead. Yeah, I sure hope it does. <laughs> I got the power of God in anime on my side. Do you know what? <laughs> now I have to go through vines with you. Yeah. Oh, I'm literally really about to watch them on repeat. I That's love you, bitch. Sounds like. Yeah. I never gonna stop loving you, bitch. bitch. It's Wednesday. Morning. I know exactly what they are based on the sound. Yeah. That hurt like a butt cheek on a stick. What the f Richard? I can't believe you've done this. TikTok and Vine are two different species. Yeah. Okay, so ingredients for banana bread. We have dark chocolate chips. They didn't have baking soda at the supermarket, so we got self-raising flour. Cinnamon. I kind of want to try these. Do you have coconut oil? Yes. Are you going to buy seriously? Yeah. Let's use that. You're on candid camera. Hmm? Oh, camera. <laughs> All right, we're gonna preheat the oven. Don't know where this recipe's from, but. Preheat to 170. Although, I literally only use this thing for pizza. Do I put it on um, bake? Fan bake. Fan bake. Fan bake and then do 160. The difference in the egg size. Do you know you can't break an egg by squ Well, that's a f lie. <laughs> Who told you that? Maybe it's you can't break.
break an egg with a ring on? I don't think so. <laughs> Let's put that in the bin. <laughs> no! Oh. I didn't even finish what I was saying, bro. Let's put that in. But is half a cup of this equivalent to probably not, half probably a cup put of honey? A bit less in, yeah. I'd do like maybe maybe like a quarter of a cup. Just taste it. Yeah. It's just like a different sweetness. It's not. I don't think it's more or less sweet. Oh, that literally tastes like honey. Mm. Are these vegan then? No. Oh. <laughs> and you're gonna beat that together. Connor does this, babe. She's like, you know, you can't crack an egg if you squeeze it. <laughs> and it obviously <laughs> goes everywhere. What? It must be with you if you're wearing a ring. I swear I saw it. Sometimes I wonder how I've made it this far. Whisk that bad boy. Okay. Make sure it's all like together. Well, I'm gonna mash some bananas. I'm gonna mash these. And you're gonna add the eggs in and like beat one them. One by one? Yeah, I think so. Okay. My dad loves baking. Um. Oh, actually, yeah, I think here's They're really good. Is that Vegemite? I never used to like it. I used to eat it out of a jar. See, I will eat like, um, like a Vegemite scroll. Oh yeah. Like with cheese, but yeah. nah. I'm not huge. Vegemite's just essentially salt. Yeah. That's why I'm not like a huge fan of salty. Wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me. I never gave the key to you. Even though I wanted to. I should be trying something new, but now my body's aching. I'm tired of dwelling in the Yo. It's so exciting. Nice, I can taste good. <laughs> Did you even get it in your mouth? <laughs> Delicious. I didn't know what it would cost me when I lay Hey Siri, can you set a timer for 55 minutes? 55 minutes counting down. Oh. Should have come oh. to you. I'm gonna die. Another time, another place, I just <laughs> I'm currently watching H2O, just add water, classic childhood show. This is what the banana bread looks like, it's just cooling down. It smells amazing, so very excited to eat that. Charlie's having a nap, which is awake now. Hi. I'm just having some bone broth. Hey, I got a message about going to the party. Uh, that was an old message. I'm not going anymore. I might just join you all for a swim now. Sometimes I just don't know what to do. Should have been you. I could be driving to your place, but now the crown is shaking. Could be a face, but it feels like it will never go away until we make up. I can't be myself. I never knew how. 